And good morning everyone, magandang umaga po. Uh, today is gonna be a very good episode. It's gonna be an educational one. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to build your, <clears throat> what they call this, watch list for the international market. How to start your watch list in the international market. And I've been uh, in communication with uh, my coaches, international market, uh, with eToro about this. And... Today I'm going to be sharing to you how I built my watch list. Uh, sila po nagturo nito sa akin actually. And it was a very wise uh, lesson from them. And I'm going to share it to you because ni request po yan ng karamihan since most of you are already starting in the international market. So, yan, um this today's episode is going to be very beneficial for you. A little request, please share the videos to your Facebook walls and to your trading groups so that the newbies will know about this, especially today's episode, para po matuto sila magawa ng Swatchless International Market. And this is gonna be trading using the international market, so di po uh, yung brokers po ninyo sa PSC hindi po pwede dito. Um, I invite you to create an eToro account, right? Uh, trade the international market using the eToro account. Please use my link in the video description uh, to create an account. Um, a requ little request on my end first because it helps the channel a lot uh, when you create the account using my link. Also, um, for future uh, mga promotions, right? May mga promotions kasi binibigay si eToro under those people who created the account under me. Uh, so, and po, para hindi po masayang yung mga promotions, please make sure to use my link. Alright, let's go to the comments first. Our discussion about the topic should start at around 8. Uh, 8.45, bilis na lang natin ngayon. 8.45, so that's around 25 minutes. Uh, lang, 15, 45. Uh, so that's gonna be 30 minutes, right? So please fast forward to... Uh, 40, uh, 30 minutes of the video so that we can start the discussion about creating a watch list. First, I'm gonna be reading your comments really quick before we go to the topic so that we can wait for the audiences to really kick in before we start the discussion para maraming makinabang kasi maraming mga latecomers. <laughs> Alright, Sin Lord. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Manong Japs. Good morning, po, Sir. Good morning. What's up with APC? Po, it's just a price action. Uh, let's check it out. No, not this one. APC, uh, bu bullish market lang. Um, I can't find any reason why it is gonna go up fundamentally and catalyst twice. It's just that it's on a strong uptrend, and then again, the trend is your friend. That's the best entry point right there. And sinakyan lang ng mga tao. That's why it's there. And it was traded for momentum yesterday. Nag momentum siya. Um, Ron Kunanan, Maing Buntag, Sir Lloyd, good morning The Noel Taranco, good morning Coach Pakisuyo po ng GTK, PLC GTK, bisitan ko ito ha Para mas, I can cover as many as I can uh, Before the discussion uh, GTK, uh, let's let it confirm a support Pag nag-green yan ulit, why not? Let's test it out Tignan nyo si ABS, CBN, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? ABS, let's test out the support Since we're, sir, since we're seeing a divergence at this area and yeah, there it is. Umakit na. Did recommend that the past few days. And congratulations sa mga pumasok. Despite the drama, the price action is telling us, the chart is telling us na it should start to go up. So, it did. Um, tama tayo at the very least, di ba? Uh, that's trading for you. Um, PLC. Masign ko nga si PLC. Hindi ko na na check on chart nito eh. And si PLC, uy, gumagawa pala ng support si PLC. Why not, right? Uh, pwede nyo po itest yung support na yan for PLC. Uh, Travador, good morning. Redcap21, good morning, sir. Pacheck naman po si Pizza, MS, Pizza, MRSGI. Si Pizza, yun, may support na si Pizza. Pero nasa tuktok kasi si Pizza ng climb niya. Right? We're seeing also a bearish uh, move right here. I don't want to recommend Pizza right now. Um, MRSGI ito isa sa mga recommendation ko the past week uh, this week pala um, hitting the resistance hopefully mag break out if you really kung gusto nyo pa pong humabol wait for the break out 
the best entry is this support right here. Kung bumalik man yan sa support. So, abang lang. Abang ng position. Not today. Uh, upuan nyo po yan. Maganda yan. Melinda, good morning po. Sir, take on IRC. Uh, IRC, so far so good naman. Um, yung news niya. But right now, the position, uh, medyo shaky. But I will say, pag nag-green yan, that's not the support for IRC. Maganda naman ang future niyan. Malaki ng project nila. Mark Benson Ong, ISM po. Si ISM kahapon, mm, nagpahinga ni. Eh, right? I think, uh, it's still sustained in the MA20, but wala pa tayong confirmation to really buy it. Uh, especially ngayon sa may lumalabas na ugong-ugong about 14 fifth telco. Uh, which brings me to my number one pick for today. I'll discuss about that later. Alright, after sa topic natin about how to create your watch list in the international market. Jing Martinez, good morning coach, morning. Edward Vince, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pakicheck po si DNL, SSI, and MWide. Si DNL, bullish pa rin ang formation kaso nga lang may, mayroong resistance uh, right here. It's still a bullish triangle pattern. Alright, so breakout lang. Nabangan natin ng breakout ng DNL. But I've been telling you guys, magbodega ng magbodega kay DNL habang andyan pa yan. It's poised to break out anytime soon. So congratulations sa mga nakabodega. Ganun ang trading po habang nasa baba pa. Pasukin nyo na. SSI, touch the lower Bollinger Band. Malaki ang volume on the, down, uh, on the pullback. So I think tapos na yung uptrend ni SSI. Bababa pa yan. Iwas lang muna. Um, M wide. Alright, so MY touched the lower ball in Japan. So, hindi po nag-sustain yung, ano niya, uh, hindi po nag-sustain itong support ni MY. So, ngayon, for today, cut loss sa mga pumasok dito. I did recommend MY here. Sadly, hindi po siya nag-sustain. Um, so for now, malaki yung down, malaki yung, ano eh, malaki yung volume on the sell-off. So, Stay away from the MY for today. Christian Ray Baranda. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Mark Lizasa. Good morning, Sir. Pag pumasok mo yung $50 sa Itoro, pasilip naman, Ani. Sir, pumasok na po. Uy, very good. Right, I didn't know about that. Pumasok na pala today. So, guys, those who received an email from me and those who created my link, I mean, created an account in Itoro using my link. Speaking of Itoro, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, please use my link when you create one. Those who created my link and funded account last June, June uh, 15 to 30, uh, you are eligible for the $50 promotion of eToro. Sa inyo na po yung $50 na yan. And Mark Lizazo says, pumasok na po yung $50 sa eToro. Congratulations po sa inyo. That's a very big amount. There were around 2,600 who qualified, 2,600 who created the account using my link na hindi pa nagpa-fund. If, if all of those just funded Itoro gave away 6, almost 7 million pesos to everyone. $50, that's a big amount, right? Malaki po niyan, right? Eh, just for adding uh, adding the funds. You don't even have to trade it. And pwede niyo po i-withdraw yan. Kaso nga lang may 25 fee, so baka makalahati kung i-withdraw niya lang. Don't recommend that. I recommend you try the interna trading the international market. And I'm gonna teach you how today. Today's gonna be a very good episode. Mm -hmm. Ani, kamustahin natin si Ani. Wala po sa akin, 50 from Itoro, cre created and funded on April 13. Ay, funded on April 13. Melinda, send me a message. I'm not sure if, ano, uh, I'm not sure if you are included. Kasi ang promotion was only for those hindi pa nagpa-fund. Uh, that was to really invite everyone to fund. Uh, and then the funding dates were around June. So, I don't think as a list ka, but send me a message please so para i-check ko rin ulit, i-double check ko. Please send me a message sa Financial Freedom 101. I'll look for time to answer the messages today. Okay, Tommy Montano Escobita. Ay, si Ani pa pala. Alright, si Ani, uh, nag-resistance pa. It's now playing at MA20. Nagbabounce sa MA20 dalawang beses na. Best entry point, MA20. Should re you really wanna enter Ani again? Or, uh, breakout kung hindi niyo pumasakyan, hindi kayo makasakay doon sa MA20. Okay, um coach Pakibao, bati wife ko na si Alpha at daughter ko na si Jeshel. Uh they are watching also. Good morning Tommy and family. Good morning po sa inyo. Alpha and Jeshel. Right, Levi, <coughs> Marcel, Marceliana, good morning coach. Anong anong question ito? 
anong candle period po maganda sa intraday? 1 minute, 5 minutes, and 30 minutes. The best is 1 minute if you're doing intraday, especially scalping. Um, 1 minute, actually meron akong kaibigan na 1 minute, 3 minutes, and 5 minutes and tinitignan niya to really know the trend sa short term. Uh, but the best for me is 1 minute. When I try to do day trading, I always check out the 1 minute and 3 minutes. Right, para mas mas solid na trend. Sa tingin ko, 1 minute umangat yet, tinitingnan ko 3 minutes for confirmation bounce and then that's it. <clears throat> Raymond Arano, Sir Lloyd, good morning. FLI, MWide, Costco po. Si Costco, we're waiting for a breakout. Let me share my chart. <clears throat> we're waiting for a breakout for Costco since nakalipad na tayo from the support. Uh, we did recommend Costco dito sa support. Um, wala pa tayong breakout. Antay lang ng breakout. Next is... Mm, MY na cover na natin yan si FLI. <clears throat> Ito challenging kay FLI eh. We do have a support right here, possible short term support. Uh, mahirap eh. We do, uh, tatlong araw na siya, actually four times na nag, nagbabounce at that area. If we see a green, you can test it out. But the best will be a breakout from this, ano, from this flag pattern. Pag nagsisimula ng mag green yan and mag breakout, chan yung papasukin. Okay? for FLI. Medyo challenging talaga. Pag gumahabol kayo sa taas, ilang beses kayo ni-recommend. Recommended it here. MA20s, guys. MA20 favorite. Yan po. Diyan po natin dapat pinapasok. Hindi yung nakalipad na saka natin saka tayo naghahantay ng position. Um, Raquelin Viernes. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Kuwait. Any insights for PHA and Primex? Thanks to PHA. Still good news na um okay naman si PHA hindi pa tapos yung ano niya hindi pa tapos yung hindi pa lumalabas talaga yung news niya. Uh, still a good trend for me. Congratulations sa mga nagbodega. We are playing at 0.91. Really hard to find a position today. Um this is a pattern right here. Siguro breakout na lang kung gusto niyo pa talaga pumasok. I will recommend a pullback and bounce before you want to enter PHA. Um, ngayon wala pa tayong bounce so abang lang muna Primex si Primex naman uh, Primex did a little pull back and umaakit na naman it's really challenging right now for Primex starting to it's starting to create an uptrend so for search a trend line lang muna before niyang pasukin mahirap ch very challenging na yung position niya ngayon but overall Primex still very cheap right okay pa rin yan actually si Primex Pag nag-green yan today, maybe a breakout from the short-term resistance, maganda ng entry yan. Pwede nyo pang sukin yan. Overall kasi napakamura pa. <coughs> Alright, sir. Thoughts on Emperador? <coughs> Kaya lang ha. Ay, bumaba yung comments. Hindi pa pala yun. Dapat. Dapat ito muna. Alright guys, again, a little request from my end. Uh, today is gonna be a very educational topic. I will... Ask for your help to share the video, send the message to everyone. How to create your watch list in the international market. That's a very good strategy how to do this. Asa na ako? Yan si Primex. Gilbert Tan, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pakibati naman. Ay, nabasa ko na yun. Ah, okay. Hindi pa pala. Si Gilbert Tan. Pakibati naman. Si Ferdinand and wife niya. Si Rose and and win tuloy ng win resorts uh, dito sa Macau good morning po sa inyo dyan sana matuloy kayo sa Hong Kong para makapunta kami hopefully yes we're planning one out for Hong Kong Raquelin Viernes morning sir Lord. watching from Kuwait any insights kay PHA and Primex we do oh, nabasa ko na pala yun Sean Lau good morning uh, Mr. M good morning then Raging Bull nag sell half na ba kayo sa ISM may bagong telco na ba kayo pinasok nope I did not cause my um, actually noon pa nung nag 8 nag sell half na ako kay ISM ko Yung natitira po is, actually, hindi siya half na lang ang natira kasi nag-buy more ako nung bumaba. Right? Nung bumaba siya, nag-buy more ako. So, I'm still holding on to it. Um, my target um, target ka po dyan is long term kasi. Eh. So, baka chupit-chupitin ko lang yan. Baka umabot ng mga 8, chupit ako ng konti. Tapos pag nag-G's, chupit ako ng konti. Wait for the major pullbacks to buy more again. Ganun na ang gagawin ko. Honey Kabigting, good morning coach. PHA po. Thanks much. Um, you already talked about that. Kellen Dagger, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning. Then Lolita Rolioda, morning Sir Lloyd. SMPH at 38 will go up or down. Sabi ni Cole, downtrend 37.75. Mura na po ba siya? Uh, si SMPH, medyo challenging si SMPH ngayon. Uh, we're seeing... We're seeing a downturn for SMPH kasi. But, 
though it is showing us a downtrend, we have a confirmation of a support. So, we can't really say na tutuloy-tuloy pa siya sa pagbaba. Dito lang, noong ginawa niya ito, it did show a downtrend. Um, right now, showing showing us good signals. Right, um, try it at the support if ever gusto niyo pong subukan. Pag binigyan tayo ng support talaga. Um, next, best entry is a bounce and baka mag pull back and bounce and a higher low. Doon po natin pasukin for si SMPH kung gusto natin pumasok. <clears throat> But yeah, still overall, um, hindi siya overall cheap. Nag-all-time high nga siya, di ba? Uh, medyo challenging na ito dito sa taas. But it's a good company nonetheless. This is a good avenue to buy more. If it goes further down, just keep buying more if you're in it for long term. Giflam, good morning, VLL and ABS. Sir Lloyd, si VLL hindi pa gumagalaw. Just keep buying the support for VLL. ABS, masyado mataas na. Kumalaw na yan sa ABS. Dapat dito, nung na-recommend ko. Right now, let's wait for the pullback and bounce na lang for ABS. Should you really wanna get in. Hops, Air, MWide, Tugs, and MPI. Uh, MWide, we talked about that already. Si Tugs naman. Uh, time check, it's 8.33. Si Tugs, sa support po tayo pumasok. Um, pula siya yesterday. Hopefully, bigyan tayo ng opportunity sa support ulit and mag-bounce. Diyan natin pasukin. That's the best entry point. MPI naman. Si MPI nagre-resistance eh. So breakout ng resistance, that's a good uh, that's a good entry point for F MPI. Still consolidating. Christian Ray Baranda, morning sir, thoughts on EMP Emperador? Grabe tong akyat okay, Emperador eh. As a ano, pullback pala kahapon. Broke MA20. Ay hindi pala si Emperador 'yon, si GSMI pala 'yon. Emperador so, tagal talaga ko na, na recommend to. I still remember MA20's entries. Uh, Emperor Bork broke MA20 after hitting the resistance. I don't want to recommend it yet. Maybe magpapahinga pa yung trend niya so far. Uh, too volatile for me. Huwag muna pasukin sa Emperor. Anti-stress channel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. What are your bagger picks? And also, ask ko lang per seminar ba kayo about to start to develop in small businesses? Uh, thank you. That's uh that's gonna be part of my ano. Uh, that's gonna be part of my genre soon. I'm gonna be <coughs> I'm gonna be including the minis.org on my seminars. Um creating a module about it uh, how how it started. Um uh, meron ako instant na start na business ngayon. Maybe um a year or two from now if the businesses are successful so I have so I have a solid evidence on uh, on business strategies. Right now kasi yung business ko is um Ako, ako lang. The seminars, uh, the the teaching, the classes, the sponsorship, and my YouTube. So, wala akong kaano empleyado. Uh, so, it's easier this way to start a business on your own. Iba kasi pag may empleyado na. And I want, that's one of the biggest part of the seminars I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be teaching because yun po yung and dami ko na negosyo dati and that was one of my downfalls about managing uh, your people kasi palakaibigan ako kinakaibigan ko lahat ng empleyado ko which worked uh, against me and that's one of the reasons why I, I studied I mean I worked in Converges my real goal was really working to learn um learn how to manage people once I res uh, once I attained that and I became became the best manager uh i quit cuz i now know how what to uh, what to do and yun um so far so good um after that it was really uh, it was really uh it was really it was doing well for me after that so i started to meron akong konting tao ngayon but really started small but then again I'm applying the learnings. Mamaya na, um, dada, uh, gagawa ako ng module about starting a, or starting a business. Um, especially the online businesses, which is really, this is gonna be very good in the future. Um, thinking about that 5G technology. <coughs> Internet's gonna be very powerful. We'll do that soon, right? Julius Galero, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights naman kay LR in tech. Uh, 8.37, time check, LR. LR, Wala pa, pa, baba, pa. Meron tayong support dito. Starting to go, to to bounce. Tapos na kasi yung trend ni LR eh. Mm, abang lang tayo sa next entries. Too volatile for me to enter right now. Very tricky to enter LR. 
Fen, ito si Fen, um, pumula na naman siya. But then again, it, it's, uh, what they call this, it uh, confirmed a support. Pag nag-green yan, pwede nyo po itest si Fen. Uh, very strong uptrend naman yan si Fen. Tugs, uh, we talked about Tugs already. TBGI, ito si TBGI, maganda future nito eh, because of the telco boom, right? Um, MA20 is holding. Antay lang tayo pag nag-bounce ulit sa MA20 before natin pasukin. Let me turn on my fan really quick. One moment, please. Mm. Okay. Ang init na eh. <laughs> Alright. Um, asa na ako? Uh, JT, JRT, Serrano, 1000, Boss Web, Si Web ang tindi. Galing. Uh, amazing MA20 bounce. And there it is. Nag-break out pa. I don't want to recommend that anymore. Taas na po masyado. Uh, did break out from the previous resist, strongest resistance. Congratulations po sa mga merong Web at mga nagbodega kay Web. Uh, this is looking good in the future. I don't want to recommend it anymore today. Masyado mataas na po yan. Look at the RSI. That's sell levels RSI. That's not buy levels RSI. Stay away from those positions. So, pumainggit sa mga lumipad na. Um, next up, web X. Si X looking good si X eh. Maganda yung trend ni X. So, wait na lang. Any, every time it bounces at MA20, those are the best entry points, especially for these kinds of stocks na pang trading lang talaga. Always wait for uh, the pullbacks. Kung hindi na kayo makasakay, pabayaan nyo na po. Maipit lang kayo dyan. Fen, Tugs, TBGI, right na cover na natin. Uh, si Tech, eto si Tech, Nipa. From Julius Galero, si Tech. Right, si Tech may magandang bounce yesterday. It has very good volume in its bounce. I'd say yes, test it out for the waterfall strategy. Mukhang magbabounce ito, and then, pero short term lang. Before nyo pasukin, kakabounce nya lang. Uh, strategy wise, look at the RSI. Yeah! Short-term trading, tingnan niyo po si Tech. Uh, waterfall strategy for that. Um, Geo Peter, Sebastian, good morning Sir Lloyd. See you here in Davao soon. Please go Costco, DD, Food, Green, and ISM. Before I go to that, uh, Geo Peter, unahin ko muna ang topic natin ngayon na I'll go back to, uh, I'll go back to the comments uh, after and you'll be the first one I'll be checking. Before I go to the topic, uh, Mag pull, mag, ano muna ako, plug muna ako. Guys, Davao. Speaking of Davao, Joe Peter did mention about it. I'll see you in Davao, July 20 po. That's Saturday. That's a whole day event. Um, dalawang session po yan. You can choose the morning or the afternoon session. The morning session is going to be about financial literacy, how to handle your funds, how to get rich in the stock market, passive income, mastering your cash flow. And I'm going to share to you the best passive income avenues out there. Right? It's gonna be a very good seminar, uh, especially sa mga teenagers. If you have kids, send them over and have them join the morning session. The morning session is gonna be f very, uh, very helpful, especially sa mga millennials natin ngayon. Um, even for pares natin na age, <laughs> pwede pa rin, right? Bring your kids. I have We have registrants who's bringing their family. I'm very happy. Uh, there are still seats available for the morning session. In the afternoon session, medyo puno-puno na tayo. I talked about to Itor about it, but sila na pong bahala sa excess. Uh, we already have 70 registrants for the afternoon session. If there will be more, you're welcome to come. Itoro will be more than happy to welcome you guys if ever sumobra man tayo. Um, afternoon session is gonna be the trading masterclass. I'm gonna inter uh, I'm gonna share with you step by step my trading strategy, how I start from start to end of your ano uh, from from the start of your trading uh, being a uh, development as a trader, right? How to start becoming a trader and how to really master it, even mastering your emotions. Trading masterclass afternoon session. Don't miss out on it. It's gonna be one of it's one of the best seminars out there, um, according to my students at least, de ba? Um, best seminars out there for trading. It's gonna be very systematic. And it's gonna be very helpful for your trading journey. Okay. Um, August four. Dun po tayo sa Roma, Rome, Italy. I'm gonna be there August four. I have a post about it. Check it out. Register. I'll see you there. Um. Sige, we'll go to the topic now. How to create your watch list. 
especially sa eToro, de ba? Um, for those who don't know about eToro, this is eToro. This is my trading platform. Nag-open ako ng position kay GBP last night, and it's moving positively. Nag-pull back siya ng konte, but that's forex for you. Still looking good for GBP USD. So this is eToro, right? I am trading the international market using eToro. For those who don't have an eToro account, please create an eToro account using my link. Gawitin niyo po ang link ko. Okay, now, creating the watches, how do I know which stocks to start with? The best method is ask the experts. Look at the fund managers, right? For example, sino ba pinakasikat na fund manager sa US? Pinong pinakamayaman? Yung tito ko, si... Uh, Warren Buffett, di ba? <laughs> si Tito Warren, right? So, check out Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, this is Berkshire Hathaway. This is their funds, right? Copy funds. This is what Warren Buffett is holding. And his already positive performance niya. Let's check out the stats. Um, he's up 12% for this year. Right? So, tignan natin ano mga assets na hinahawakan niya. And, why is Warren Buffett holding it? Because through his extensive research, these are the best companies he believes in and invests in. Why not start there? Diba? Copy, fake it till you make it. Kopyahin niyo po anong ginagawa ng mga magagaling. Right, now, if you click on Warren Buffett and check, check out his stats, makikita niyo po yan, anong pinapasokan niya. Apple, uh, Coke. Alright, let's go to the, let's click this one. Again, go to the stats and click out, click the assets. And makikita nyo po dito, exposure is on stocks 100%. So, stocks lang po ini-invest niya. Click on the allocation. Allocation. Ay, ito pala, view all. Click on view all. Again, that was portfolio. And here, dito, view all. Makikita nyo po ano ang mga pinapasukan niyang stocks. 23% of his port is into Apple. Meaning, most probably, Apple has very good fundamentals. And it does. Then check out Bank of America Corporation. You can trade it here in the in Itoro, right? So you have Bank of uh, Bank of uh, what do you call this? Bank of America Corporation, Wells Fargo, and he's also invested in Wells Fargo. If Warren believes in that company, why shouldn't you? Coca Cola, AXP, American Express, one of the biggest winners always. Uh, Kraft, uh, USB, JP Morgan. MCO, BK, Dal, Love, start with these companies. Read about these companies to, and know them by heart. Since naka-invest dyan si Warren Buffett, most probably, dapat ikaw din. So, there are, there are many, uh, there are very many copy ports out there. Sino pa ba yung sikat na ano? Um, ito si Carly Khan. If you click on Carly Khan, go to the portfolio and click on view all. This is his investments. Ito po yung sa firm ni Carly Khan. One of the best fund managers out there also. And these are the companies. Iba rin yung companies na hawak niya. Si IEP, uh, CVR Energy, um, sa kanya yun eh, Ikan Enterprise. Uh, anyways, HLF, Herbalife, LNG, CZR. And yun po yung mga stocks na hawak niya. Start with these companies. Kahit la kay Warren Buffett and Carly Khan lang. Meron na kayong watches na napakarami. Pwede nyo na po yan tignan everyday should you want to. And then, ang gagawin nyo na lang is if ever he's following, let's say, pinakamaliit dito is HR, uh, let's say, Hertz Global Holdings, just check out the uh, chart of Hertz. Um, sa kanya yata to. Hertz. R Hertz. And HTZ. So, when you check out HTZ, um, let me go to candlesticks. Ayan, nagpo-pullback sa HTZ. Dapat ito pala, entry point na. Since meron na kayong magandang entry point. Uh, meron na kayong watch list. Um, range trade for this stock. And you have a obvious resistance right here. That's how you create a watch list. I hope this helps. This is a shortcut of how to make your watch list para wag po kayo mahirapan. I am giving you the fastest way. This is one of the best strategies to start in the international market. This is one of the fastest way to create your own watch list. I hope this is helpful. Okay? And mag trade na kayo sa international market. Use an eToro uh, platform. Create an eToro using 
may link. Yan po, naka-invest sila dyan. Bakit hindi natin pasukin? Because they know these companies are good. Okay, let me go to the, ano, uh, to the comments. Wow, buti lang naging student mo kami, sir. At least connected din kami kay Tito mo. <laughs> right, ito rin. Iba ka talaga, sir. Right, um, yes. Uh, kidding aside, start start with those watch lists. Yung mga kompanya na hinawakan po nila. Those are very good companies. Those are extensive research that you can use right away. Kung wala si Itoro, hindi, ta- hindi natin alam. Mahirap po malaman kung anong companies ang hinahawa ka nila. Uh, thanks to this, uh, since we are we are able to see their funds, ano yung, lina- ano yung laman ng funds nila, so it's much more, uh, it's very easy now to know which stocks to look out for. Ito, nakapullback sa HTZ, and then trade it. Ganun lang. Okay. How about watch list for PSE? Watch list for PSE po, ang ginawa ko dyan is, I only have a handful. If napapansin nyo po, balik-balik lang yung mga uh, recommendations ko. Uh, that's because I have a list of companies that I like. Ang ginawa ko dati is, I research on my own. Uh, whenever I think this company is good, SMBH, I research their fundamentals. Uy, maganda. After the research, I'll add that to my watch list. Manual ko po yan ginagawa dati. And I only play with those stocks. I only play with stocks that I know who are fundamentally good. Okay. So, yan po. That is how I create my watch list. Uh, that's how, that's, that is how you should create your watch list for near international market. Should you really want to trade it? I ha- We have so many um, players out there already. Speaking of the international market, I want you to join this group. I want to shout out to the Itoro, Pinas, Team Itoro, Pilipinas. Right. Um, look for this group. Search for Team Itoro, Pilipinas. We already have 463. I'm one of the admins here. Not very active that much since um, I am also active in the Billionaires Club pero nanonood po ako dito. Dito may mga scalpers and they try to teach you how to scalp. And I asked them, if napapansin nyo po, maliitan na yan. Uh, maliitan na yung uh, gains nila, dati tig 50% yan. I asked them to try the strategy with lesser leverage para hindi ka anong risky and they're still winning <laughs> daily mining. Um, people are asking, um, baka may video tutorial. They are making videos on how they do it. They're scalping using uh, eToro. Makita nyo po dito, eto mga to. Sila Glenn, 24.68% on oil. Scalping. Right? Amazing wins. Magagaling ang mga tao dito sa, and they're trading in the eToro. Join this group uh, you're gonna learn a lot here, especially those who wants to do scalping sa international market. I don't recommend it, but whatever makes you uh, excited, exciting rin naman ang, uh, what they call this, ang scalping. Kaso nga lang, get ready to wake up sa um, yung puyatan. Get ready puyatan kasi nag, nag ano yung mga yan, nag, uh, nag, 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 nag volatile ang mga yan tuwing international market hours. So, gising yung mga yan hanggang alas dos, alas tres ng madaling araw just to do scalping. Right? But very, uh, lax ng pera. <laughs> Tindi ng pera ng mga yan because of scalping. Yun nga lang, puyatan. Join the group. This is gonna be a very helpful group for you. Also, if you tr- if you want to learn how to trade the international market, we have so many updates coming in that group. Alright, check it out. Hindi ko na minix gaano yung mga picks ni Itoro sa Billionaires Club. Uh, because as much as possible, I want to make it uh, clean for PSE. So we do have posts every now and then about international market. Okay, so let's go back to my picks. Unahin ko muna ang picks ko before si Geo Peter, before ko basahin si Geo Peter. Here are my picks. Konti lang naman. I only have four for today. Uh, medyo pullback si market, si PSEI. Kasi nagre-resistance nga, kaya nahihirapan yung mga stocks. Um, number one is VUL, Vulcan. Thank you so much, Sir Lloyd. You're such a blessing to us. Received already $50 promotion from eToro. Thanks for that. God bless and more power. Uy, Fe, um, happy to help a burger naman kayo. Kayo lang meron $50. Ako wala. <laughs> Pero anyways, I'm happy that you received the $50. Biro lang po yun. Um, congratulations to those who received the money. That's 6 million pesos given by eToro to us Filipinos. Hopefully, nakatulong naman ako sa inyo. Congratulations again. Um, 
Una si Vulkan, MA20 Bounce for Vulkan, marami, may magandang mga developments for Converge ICT, uh, especially sa telco nila. Um, yeah, Converge ICT is telco. Maraming news maganda ngayon kay Converge and VUL is said to be to become Converge ICT. Hindi natin alam kailan, but that should propel VUL uh, speculatively. And it's at MA20, it's low risk. That's why I'm recommending it. Vita. Si Vita naman, uh, nasa support. We do have good volume spikes on these support levels. So, bodega na for me si Vita habang nasa baba pa. Next is, just buy the support anyways, low risk pa siya. Just in case mali tayo, uh, you can cut loss. Please cut your losses. If you wanna know how I keep my... Like what do you call this? How I keep my portfolio healthy. Though pulahan tayo the past two months, pero look at that, negative 90% lang and negative 0.31%. Negative 0.90. I keep my losses minimal. Always cut your losses para at least man lang kung karamihan sa mga entries mo, mali. Mamimitigate mo. Never allow yourself to lose big. This is why cutting losses are important. You have to develop that skill, that uh, willingness, I mean, yung emotion na yan. Tatanggalin nyo. Please cut your losses if you wanna improve in trading. Okay? So, yan sa pinaka-importanting steps. I teach more about that in the Trading Masterclass. How to cut loss fast. How to plan your cut loss. So many. If you wanna join the seminar, I have a video on demand. Recording po ng mga previous seminar ko. You can send me a message. I'll give you the details how to gain access to that. Send me a message in Financial Freedom 101. It's gonna really help your trading, uh, your trading journey. Okay, um, next is Vita BPI. Yes, BPI na green na naman. Bodega na tayo sa support ni, B, ni BPI. That's a very strong support area for BPI. That's the best area to test it out. Magbodega na tayo habang nandyan pa sa baba. Hindi yung lumilipad na saka naman tayo. Mag-try maghabol. SMC, we have a support right here for SMC. I'd say yes, test out the support for SMC. Very good company. Maganda pa ang future niyan. Yeah, I'm going to be recommending SMC for today. Those are my picks for today. I'm going to go back to the comments. Gio Peter, basahin ko na ang mga comments mo. Please go and see you in Davao. Please go ni Costco. Costco, we talked about that already. We're just waiting for a breakout for Costco. Uh, pag nag-breakout yan, confirmation na yan na mag-uptrend na siya. Didi, uh, si Didi then. We're very near resistance, so it's really challenging. For DD, hopefully, bumalik yan, gumawa ng support yan sa DD and we can enter. For now, I can't find an entry for DD. Si Food naman, problema kay DD, if you notice guys, I don't recommend stocks this much, uh, this high already. Though, there is a support right there because I've been recommending DD here, DD here, DD here. The <laughs> best ka na recommend. Ngayon na, nasa taas na, I don't really like to play uh, with those stocks up there kasi may strong resistance right here. I, I will really recommend DD sa support lang muna if ever pinakamagandang entry is the breakout for DD. For now, wag na. Food naman. Ito rin, mahirap kay food kasi naglilipara na. I did recommend food, MA20, uh, right here. Oh, no, I did recommend food on the breakout right here, last and also, yeah, after this engulfing pattern, I did recommend food here. Um, challenging si food ngayon eh. Alright, it did bounce at the support. Get in this support. This is the new support of food. Yung previous assistance niya, yun po yung support. And it's bouncing there. Yes, food is good for today. I'd say yes. Bilhin niyo na po si food. Use that as your support. Di pala qualified ako. Uh, this is from Melinda. Hindi pala ako qualified sa $50. Nauna kasi ang fund ko. Ang saya sana ha. Anyways, insights po kay Web. Web is too high already. I don't wanna recommend it. Wait lang tayo ng pullback. Very good uptrend for thread, uh, for Web. Um, wait, let it pull back and then sa bounce na tayo pumasok. Um, Costco, DD Food. Green. Si Green. Kailan ko ba ni-recommend si Green? Nasa resistance na siya ngayon. Don't enter at the resistance. Wait for the breakout at the very least. Pag nag-breakout yun si Green, yes, pasokin nyo po. For now, wag na. ISM, we talked about that already. Jolie Callis, morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning then. Melinda C, wala pa aking $50. Yeah, um, yeah. it is only for those who funded last June. Kasi kung nag-fund ka na from April, I don't think, uh, sadly, you're not included anymore. 
uh, hopefully gumawa pa siya ng ibang ano ibang promotion <laughs> for for us Francis Fahilan good morning uh, Blake Aidan Ong PPG and ZHI please yung mga picks mo medyo mataas na no sorry PPG it's a PPG resistance right here best to enter I don't want to recommend on a breakout sa dito I will recommend PPG on a pullback and bounce. MA20. MA20 entries po tayo for PPG. Uh, ZHI naman. Nag-umisa na itong lumipad sa ZHI. We have an uptrend line right here. Ride it on the uptrend line if you want to enter it. Levy. Sorry. Asan na ako? Ang dami palang comments. Right, Levy Marceliana. Coach, ano po trading R sa eToro sa international market? Mag eToro na ako. I'll use your link po. Um, depende. If you want to trade the interna uh, US markets, go to your dashboard and click on help. And makikita nyo po dyan. And then, ito po, market hours and fees. If you click on this right here, makikita nyo po yung hours dyan. Um, for stocks, uh, click on stocks. Makikita nyo po dito anong oras sa PH time na po ito. Uh, Nasdaq, where I usually uh, trade the uh, US market sa so, kasi si Nasdaq, 2 trillion dollars a day po ang volume dyan so ang laking pera dumadaloy dyan sa Nasdaq tikman naman natin yung pera na yan that's why I am trading in Nasdaq uh, majority in Nasdaq and po uh, from Mondays to Fridays po yan weekdays, 21.30 meaning 9.30pm, baliktad po siya sa atin 9.30 to 3.30 Pero PM and morning nagko-close. Atin, 9.30 in the morning, nag-open, 3.30 nagko-close. So, opposite po sa atin. But anyways, using the uh, using the auto fact, auto trade factor of eToro, meron yung stop loss, meron yung pending order. I did uh, I did make an instructional video about pending orders. Pwede po yan. And take profits, automatic pun, take profits. So, automatic enter, automatic exit for you. Uh, that's what I utilize sa eToro. Kaya hindi ko kailangan bantayan gaano. Alright. Winston Hasinto, good morning. Um, Kian's Real Drum. Good morning, sir. Practicing. Keep it up. Um, practice talaga. Nagsisimula yan. Join the seminars. Uh, that was gonna, that's gonna cut your learning curve in trading so much. Right? Kung dati, yes, natuto ako sa sarili ko lang. Pero grabing panganga pa yun. Uh, grabbing losses and mga stress. I don't want you to experience that anymore. That's why I want you to join the seminars so that you will only learn the best practices na. Alam nyo na po anong gagawin. Hindi yung mga nga pa, pa sa dilim. Winston na sinto, any insights kay Tesla po. Si Tesla, I, I kind of um, backed out from Tesla. Sorry. And I want to talk about this because merong ganito sa Pilipinas kasi. Umaakit si Tesla. That's good. Price action wise, umaakit siya. But along the way, I realized in trading, this is a good company, but the CEO, I cannot trust. Right? Never trust a president. Never trust a CEO who tweets. Yung nag Twitter, hay nako. Yung mga nagsa social media na mga CEO, mahirap po yan. Kasi konting mali, mas mas maingay, mas maraming mali. And si Elon Musk, we've learned that before. Uh, that was the cause of this downtrend for Tesla. <laughs> si Elon Musk, nag, during the interviews, nag, basta ang daming ginagawa ni Elon Musk, I cannot trust. It, 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 it makes the stock volatile. So, I am not putting Tesla on my watch list anymore. Delikado po eh. Delikado yung, yung CEO na nag, nag, ano, nag-tweet eh. Na-hype and nakaka-cause ng downtrend. Right? Nangyari po yan dito sa Pilipinas. I'm not bad-mouthing. Pero meron pong CEO dito sa Pilipinas na lagi nag-tweet, nag-hype. I, mean, I think you know who that guy is. Um, that's why it's really hard to get in those stocks. Buti na lang ngayon, hindi nag-aanong nag-iingay. At noon, sa kasagsaga ng pag-akit ni Nao, marami pong nadehado dahil sa ginagawa ng, ES, um, ng, ano na yan, ng, uh, ng CEO na yun. Um, advice sa Costco, wait for the breakout. Hel Helbert Tamayo. Kala nga, may mga nag, uh, ano, may, may nagsaspam. I think ma-filter naman yan. I'll just 
remove this chat. Okay, so asa na ako. Disturbo yung mga spammers na yan na. <laughs> right, um wala ako. Ayun, Sir Pabati, uh, ano pala, SLI, Santa Lucia Lab, CLI, CCLI, umakit na naman. Congratulations. So, this was one of my bagger picks. And you're bagging now. It's reaching 52 weeks high already with the good volume. So, congratulations kay CLI. So, mga gustong pumasok, maybe a breakout strategy, I'd say, is the best entry point right now. Breakout strategy po for that. And that's an aggressive entry. I will recommend wait for the pullback. Pag nag-pullback yan, and the bounce will be the best entry point for CLI. Siya doon mataas na yun. That's why I don't, I'm not recommending it anymore. If napapansin nyo po, hindi, ko na, hindi ako na gano'n nag-iingay sa CLI. That's because it's already way up there. Um, SLI, sa Santa Lucia naman, gumagawa ng support, right? Good price action naman ginagawa ni Santa Lucia. Mm, we do have a strong resistance right here. We have another resistance right here. This is the challenging part of entering Santa Lucia. Best entry, support po for Santa Lucia. Should you really want to enter it? Um, Kians, babati po kay Febi Socorro, Eric James Mascarinas. Good morning po sa inyo. Real, Real Lane, Julian. Hi sir, pumasok ako. Itoro not using your link. Pwede po bang palitan yun? Yes, please send me a message. Please send me your uh, username para ma-request po natin i-transfer under me. Jonar Aguilar, good morning po. Good morning then. Sir, can you explain higher leverage means higher risk in eToro po? Do you recommend to use leverage po? Thank you. Um, leverage kasi, it has, it's a, it's a double, uh, it's a double-edged sword. Let, let's, let's cover that since it's, it's a newbie question. I really want to teach you about that. Leverage, it's like, here, let's go to my virtual portfolio to explain leverage even more. This is this is a very powerful tool. Ito yung ginagamit ng mga scalpers kasi pag magaling kayo, pwede nyo, uh, I will recommend using that pag magaling na po kayo. Now, I'm not using leverage that much because it increases my risk score and I'm handling funds. If you're a fund manager, you should not be a risky player. That's why I am trying to mitigate my uh, my uh, what do you call this uh, leverage. So here, let's let's check out. Let's say CBTC, BTC USD, Bitcoin. Okay, and I wanna trade it. Click on trade. And makikita niyo po yan. May leverage yan. Times one and times two. Right, times 2 lang po ang leverage pwede kay crypto kasi napaka-volatile po na ito. But, yes, um, kasi noon, for example, if you open up Bitcoin for $100, ang stop loss mo is, uh, ayaw mag-stop loss ni $100. Right? So, yun yung problema ko yung Bitcoin, ayaw mag-stop loss pag maliitan. Very risky. And anyways, here kasi, if ever you are risking 2%, Pag nag-leverage ka ng times 2, meaning yung risk mo, kasi titignan mo yung support, di ba? And you look for the cut loss level. For example, say Santa Lucia, this is the support. This is your cut loss level, right? Now, if you enter here at this point, let's say, for example, your risk here is 5%. Right? 5% ng pera mo, i-risk mo, right? And in... For example, you have $100 here and then it times 2 leverage mo. That means, yung 5% na bagsak na yan, magiging 10% yan na bagsak ng pera mo. Because you multiplied your exposure to 2. It increases your risk, really. Right? Kasi of the leverage. Siyempre, ang exposure mo yun is $2,200 na because of the times 2 leverage. Yung 0.5% na unang, ano mo, na unang risk mo, nagiging doble na, nagiging 10%. So, 10% of your 100 is gonna be gone right away at this level if ever mag times to leverage ka. Yes, it increases your risk but it also increases your <coughs> your wins. Make sure you use it only if you already know what you are doing. Mabilis po, maubos ang pera dito kasi doble rin po ang talo ninyo. And if you're a newbie, and karamihan sa trades niyo ang talo, expect your money to be gone with the wind. <laughs> gone in 60 seconds. That's why do not, um, teka lang ha, itong, itong spammer na ito, nakaka, nakaka, ano eh, 
Nakaka Nakakabagot King Bakay Good morning coach Kamusta coach X DMC Green Salamat coach uh, I hope I was able to answer your question about leverage po mm. Yun Um Kamusta X? Si X, we talked about this. MA20 entries lang tayo kasi since that's a trading stock, DMC. Si DMC naman, right, um, somehow is going sideways. Let's see if it will create a support and somehow divergence na yung support niya. Let's wait lang for further price action. I'm gonna be recommending DMC if I find a good entry. Actually, we're at solid supports already. Nabangan ko lang yan. We were able to ride this climb kay DMC. Congratulations sa mga pumapasok kay DMC noon. Kay Green naman, we talked about Green already. Helbert Tamayo, sorry. Sir Lloyd, mali ang type ko. SSI po pala. Right, we talked about SS... Oh no, SSI. Si SSI, tapos na uptrend ni SSI. Yeah. Antay lang tayo ulit sa next trend niya. Pababa na si SSI. Spaghetti pababa na. PHA from Jonar Aguilar. PHA, just keep buying the dips. Nasa taas pa ngayon si PHA. Antay lang tayong bumaba. Yan ulit before natin bilhin. CPG, one of my bagger picks. Si CPG, andyan pa sa tuktok naglalaro. Breakout will be the next best entry point for CPG. Don't wanna recommend it yet as of the moment. Hindi pa siya nag-breakout. Fen naman. Si Fen. Okay, si Fen. Wala pa. Antay lang ng bounce to just to confirm the support. LHC. May resistance din si ILC, IL, uh, LHC. <laughs> ME20 bounces po. These are the best entries for these kinds of stocks na naglilipara na. Sorry, Dihita. What do you think of MTG in the US market? MTG. Ito ba siya? Magic Investments Corp. Right, maganda yung price action niya. Eh. Sideways, we're I'm not sure of the you know, not sure of the fundamentals of this company yet. Uy, maganda naman yung earnings niya lately. Yeah, this could be good. I I cannot comment about this since I haven't studied the fundamentals of this company yet. Uh, price action wise, we are nearing resistances, so I don't want to recommend that up there. Okay. Uh, Sony Dihita, what do you think of MTG? Naba, nabasa ko na pala yan. Georgina C, good morning. Safe pa din ba i-hold and continue magbodega ng BPI kahit di pa nag-cross ang MA at naglalaro sa price? Thank you po. Uh, you are trying to trade it, Georgina. Uh, if you're trying to trade BPI um, for short term, medyo mahirap pa siya, though may support na. Let's open BPI. Ang recommendation ko po kay BPI bodegahin niyo po yan. Kahit pa bumaba pa yan lalo, just keep buying it. This is a good company. This should go up anytime soon because that's a good company. Bilhin niyo lang ng bilhin yan habang mababa pa. Juno lang from Riyadh. Good morning. Uh, Shoutout po kay Densio, taga-subaybay niyo dito, dito, proud newbie. Well, hello po, Juno lang and Densio. Good morning po sa inyo. Ang aga-aga pa dyan ngayon. SSI, we talked about SSI already. Raymond Arano, somehow your message got redacted. Good morning, sir. ISM ATN. Next, si ISM, medyo delikado si ISM. Hopefully, mag-bounce sa MA20. Si I ATN, hindi pa nagsusustain eh. Let's see what will happen kay ATN. Pag nag-green yan, pwede natin testing in at mag-recover above MA20. But ATN, definitely for long term. Andrew Prang, coach, how long did it take to you to go full-time trader? How's your experience? Tagal-tagal rin. Took me around full-time trader talaga. Mga five years siguro, I, I forgot the timeline already since it's very long. Kasi I started investing na muna and then tikim-tikim sa trading and wanted to concentrate on it and then I became a full trader. Noong nag-resign na ako, full-time, full-pledged, I mean, nag-trade na talaga ako when I was still working since na, na, nakikita ko naman yung chart. Pero mahirap. And then, I did resign after that to go full-fledged trading and also uh, teaching uh, stock market. And ayun, um, part of our development was becoming ayan, becoming a champion dito sa eToro. Uh, we're now trading the international market. We're the first Filipino to become champion uh, in, ano, in, in eToro. That's one of our developments. <laughs> right. 
still now I'm still learning the international market student pa rin ako ngayon but already still already concentrating on trading na Andrew Prang yan pabati po sa did you have a mentor no I did not have a mentor yung specific talaga na mentor I did get tips bits of tips here and there because I really wanna learn talk to brokers um isa sa mga nagturo nga sa akin is one of my students I had a student who's a very uh who's a, uh what you call this yung brokerage yung hardcore training talaga diyan sa Makati All right shout out to uh my mentor and isa sa student ko nag student mentor student mentor nag side by side ako I saw how the big guys play the the Philippine stock market and it's not easy <laughs> tindi Grabe. Um, pabati po to my loving wife, Mother Elsa. Her day is not complete without watching the daily grind. Good morning po sa inyo, Andrew and Elsa. AEV. AEV. Ito nag-support na ito eh. Kamustayin natin yung support niya. Alright, still good. Uh, starting to touch the upper Bollinger Bands. Pag nag-bounce ito sa MA20, pasukin niyo po. That's good price action. I think that's gonna start a momentum. Pag nag-bounce yan ng MA20 si AEV. Pub Zeta. Sir, Aba, PHA, si Aba. Taas na ni Aba eh. Nagpo-pullback si Aba, diba? Ayan. Gumagawa ng flag pattern si Aba. Breakout. Best entry from Aba. If it breaks out, doon na lang ang entry natin. Pero guys, napakataas na po niyan. Nasaan po tayo noong nire-recommend ko si Aba do, dito sa baba. Next well, entry was a breakout. Ang hirap na ni Aba. Huwag na po kayo maiingit dyan sa stock na yan. Huwag niyo pong pipilitin maghanap ng entry dyan. Marami pong ibang stocks na nasa baba pa. Yan po ang paglaruan natin. Aris de la Peña. Good morning, Sir AEV at FLI po. More power. God bless. Thank you so much. Si PHA pala. Um, si PHA nang pullback Antay lang tayo ng next bounce na PHA. Um, AEV at FLI po si Phil Invest also wait for the breakout na lang before you wanna enter uh, Vic Kadangan interested uh, you mean in the stock market in the investing journey right. uh, this is the reason why I want you I, I'm asking you guys to share the video para po ang mga newbies ma interested naman sa investing journeys right. Miriam Velori, Veloira Biloira. Good morning, sir. Insights for PNB. Si PNB ni recommend ko the past few days and it's already going up. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay PNB when I recommended it here. I don't want to recommend that right now. We're nearing resistance as levels. Wait lang tayo ng pullback and next bounce before we want to enter PNB. MRSGI. Si MRSGI just keep buying the support. MRSGI. Just keep buying the support for MRSGI or a breakout. And green, we talked about green already. Noel Minano, sir, on the sample 300 investment and a gain of $10 on a stock, take profits na po ba agad ginawa, ginagawa nyo? Um, hindi po. Uh, I usually wait. Ang ina-apply ko nga dito is I wait for 6% 6, 6 gains, pero on tagal. So, around 4% gains, 3% to 4% gains, pwede na kayo mag-sell half and then hopefully it goes up. The other half goes up. Ganun ang ginagawa ko. I always wait for around... 4% to 5% at least to mitigate my risk to reward ratio. Um, yung risk ko kasi around 3%. So at least 5%, malapit-lapit na ako dyan. I'm still trying my best to really shorten my risk uh, my risk appetite sa international market since blue chips naman sila. Morning, Hernan Lim. Um, Rhea, Sir Insights po kay Oil. Oil, tataas po kaya ito. Maraming news kay Oil eh. I think tataas pa ito. Pero ang taas na ni oil, mas baka mahirapan na. Um, pa, 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 uh, si Itoron lang ang meeting natin kay oil. Okay, tingnan natin yung chart ni oil. After yung sa gulo about the oil, it started to go up. The pullback is here. Yeah, I think aakit pa ito. It did a breakout right here. It's starting to solidify support right here. I think aakit pa ito si oil. Right? Um, Lesnar? Collins? Uh, Rollins? Len Lesnar? Ang hirap ng name. Tom Player 321. Good morning, Coach. Pasilip ko Tech. Uh, si Tech. We talked about that already. Um, tech. Pwede nyo pong aggressive entry on this bounce. Pwede nyo po testing in yan. Hopefully, mag- continue yung bounce niya and then chupit lang 
I can't recommend it for those position traders na um, don't want risky positions. Si Lotto, guys, I did, I'm recommending Lotto. I did recommend this the past few days because of this support right here. Solid na po yung support na yan and RSI is already starting to go up. Test out the support. Very low risk position for Lotto. Tignan nyo po yan. TBGI. Si TBGI recommended yesterday. Medyo pulahan. But so, um, I mean, 20 still holding. Antay ng green for today. Zach Lee. Time check, it's 9.17. Sir Lloyd, ZHI po. Thanks. ZHI. ZHI. Ah, medyo mataas na. Wait lang tayo dito sa uptrend line niya. Diyan nyo po pasukin. Emmanuel, nickel place. Nickel. Alright, si nickel. Um, tumakit naman si nickel eh. We're forming a support right here. That's the best entry points for nickel. Pag nag-green yan, pwede nyo pong pasukin si nickel right there. Um, pwede ba humabol kay CPG po? CPG, please po, wag po kayo maghahabol. Kung gusto nyo po humabol talaga, breakout na lang. Antayin na lang kayo ng breakout. Baka mahuli kayo ng pullback niya, bumalik sa support. Worse, hindi mag-sustain ng support. Investor kayo niyan. Okay? Mamaya na po. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay CPG. That's one of the bagger picks that I have been picking. Ang dami na nanalo dyan. Including me, <laughs> Captain Salt. Good morning, sir. For the newbies po, how many stocks should we buy and monitor when starting out? 3 to 5. Start with 3 to 5. Kasi, my theory there is, hindi nyo nga ma-manage ang limang stocks, ano pa kaya mas marami, ba? Start with 3 to 5 stocks, even in my international market trading. Because I'm a newbie in the international market. Uh, if you wanna check out my real portfolio, dalawa lang plaman yan. I'm planning to hold only an, an, around 5 stocks right here, because I'm a newbie here. But, you will know in the future, if kaya mo na no mas marami. But for now, uh, start with this. Start with around 3 to 5 muna na stocks. If you're a newbie. Very good question. Lan Feliciano. Hi, hi Lloyd. Good morning. Shout out sa mga anak ko. Si Elijah, Elisha, Eliana. Mga future stock traders. Ano ba future ng Phoenix? Maganda future ni Phoenix eh. Right? It's been... Uh, the government has been giving Phoenix so many projects. So, Phoenix is good. Pero... Um, Dito sa support lang, support kayo pumasok. I will recommend Phoenix for ano for for longer term. Picor, si Picor, medyo shaky si Picor eh. Uh, medyo shaky pa si Picor. I can't recommend Picor yet. Si Shell PH medyo no, nagmura na talaga. So, we have good volumes on Shell PH lately. Tignan natin kung mag-sustain yung breakout na yun. Pag nag-green yan si Shell PH today, pwede natin pasukin. At least use that line as your support. Cut loss below that. Just in case we're wrong. Mayang buntag, Sir Lloyd, MPI and CPG. Uh, MPI, medyo mataas na. Really challenging. So, break wait for the breakout. CPG, we just talked about that. Huwag nyo po hapulin yan sa taas. Morning, Sir. Bell po. Um, breakout lang kay CPG if ever gusto nyo talaga pumasok. Bell. Alright, si Bell naman. Right, sustaining naman support ni Bell, natutulog lang yung stock nga lang. Yung problema natin dito. But, this support is good. If you really wanna test out Bell, get in near that support for Bell. Hmm. Hi sir, pwede check si SSI. We covered SSI already from Apaging Lara. Si SSI, marakong pababa pa. Here, Akabado, Sir Insights ka MHC. MHC. Herbal Capsule. Alright, MHC, MA20 is holding. Hopefully, MA20 holds. If ever, gusto niyong pasukin, maybe wait for a green. Um, baka um, bumagsak, pag bumagsak, cut loss below MA20. But this is a good support already for MHC. Hopefully, nakapasok kayo sa support na yan to test it. In case tama tayo, at least laki ng gains natin. If case mali, still, um, at least low ang risk natin from that support. Michael Monleon, good morning sir, PHA, just keep buying the dips kay PHA, RRC, nasa support Then BPI, any insights, BPI is a buy for me, Georgina C, sir, anong advantage uh, ng paggamit ng Bollinger Bands at RSI? Advantage ko with using Bollinger Bands is I can see momentums, so pag may nakita akong ganito mga momentums, inaabangan ko yung pullback before I enter. Um, uh, sino ba maganda? Uh, latest example natin, si FLI trade natin, Phil Invest Trades. Right, uh, the advantage of Bollinger Bands is, right, sorry, let me load my chart layout again. Nat natanggal ko tuloy si Bollinger Bands. <laughs> Kati na ilong ko, grabe. FLI, FLI. 
Right, the advantage of Bollinger Bands is whenever it starts to touch the upper Bollinger Bands, you see, you'll know that there's momentum of it going up. And I back it up with RSI. Since RSI at this point is medyo mataas na, I don't want to check it out. Um, and then when that happens, I wait for it at MA20s. Kung pumasok kayo dyan sa MA20, nakagain pa kayo. There's a secondary support here and market na. Touch out the upper Bollinger Band ulit right here. So, inabangan ko siya sa MA20 ulit. Another Bollinger Band play here. And then, there's the MA20. Did recommend FLI there. That's one of the advantage of Bollinger Bands. Also, you can see um, if a price is very stable like here. Ito, this is price stability right here. Pag nagko-constrict na ang Bollinger Band, meaning volatility is about to strike. And then, it started to touch the upper Bollinger Band. So, alam natin na paakyat na ito. And there it is, umakit na siya sa taas. That's one of the best things about Bollinger Bands. Uh, I have a video about Bollinger Band. Please check it out. Time check, it's 9.23. RSI, um, also for momentum. I always, uh, makikita niyo po ang momentum with RSI. Um, I can't discuss more about that here since uh, maubos yung pera. Uh, uh, pera. <laughs> maubos yung oras natin. Dito Warren, <laughs> si Tito Warren. Tagal na pala ng comments. Haba ng comments ha. How about watch list for PSE? Ma consider ba watch list si EPHE stocks? Yes, definitely. Those are stocks na um, tiniting na nila. Uh, Fe Avelino, thank you so much, Sir, Sir Lloyd, for the fifty dollars. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Itoro. Then because uh, for that, Robert Kennedy, CV. Uh, no, no, I don't think it's here. Arjun Mendoza, hi sir, good morning. Ask ko lang po sir, paano mag-sell sa eToro? Medyo nalit ito po kasi ako. Hindi ko ma-sell yung Bitcoin ko. Thanks sir, sentya na. To sell a stock, just click on it. And then click on this X. And then click uh, close trade. Ganun lang. Right, so click on the stock. Please click the X. And then click on close trade. Right there. Okay, um, next is... Abeb, Shabeb, sir, good morning. Ano dapat ang leverage? Times 1 lang ba dapat? If you're still learning, times 1 lang. If ever you wanna go aggressive, pwede na kayo mag-multiply. Sir, bakit red, yung red star yung nasa portfolio ko? Yes, because I'm a red star already. I'm a champion level. Meaning, ah, so, so mga gustong matuto, I mean, kumita, mag, habang nagtatrade, you can have yourself copied. Um, be a champion. Um, I did post about this. Magkano compensation ni Itoro about being a rising star, being a champion. Rising, pag rising star na kayo, you get $500 monthly binibigay ni Itoro. Pag champion po kayo, you get $1,000 from Itoro monthly. But it's not easy to reach these levels. You have to be consistent in your trading and get uh, uh, copiers for you to be able to reach champion levels. Um, ang elite, ang pinakamalaking pera because $1,000 plus 2% of your amount being handled. This is your AUM. So, 2% nito ang makukuha ko um, if ever elite ka na. Right. Um, let's continue. Sir, bakit red? Uh, Elma Bar Barbudo. Sir, saan nag-create na account using your link noon pa pero hindi naglagay ng funds? Uh, di po kasali sa $50. Pag nag-create kayo noon, before April 30, yes, if ever nag-fund nag kayo noong June, during the promotion, until June 30, uh, yes, makakakuha kayo ng $50. Kier Akabado Insights sa Main MHC. Di pala ako qualified, sabi ni Mandinda. Guys, pasensya na hindi ko po masagot lahat. It's already 9.25. Um, we'll continue tomorrow again. The daily grind will always be there to guide you. I'll see you tomorrow. Pasensya na talaga, hindi ko masagot lahat. Hopefully, today was a very fruitful seminar, I mean seminar, session for you guys. That is how to start your watch list in uh, in eToro at the very least or if you have other brokers for the international market. Copy what the big guys are investing in. Kasi maraming investors dyan. Ibig sabihin yan, maraming investors since these are very good companies. Start with those. Let's get rich together. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your day, Paul.